This isn't bad, is it? I mean, your mom and dad think you're doing math. When in, in fact, we're just sitting here listening to some nice music and watching some really interesting uh, computer-generated art. And they think you're doing math. Well, well, wait, maybe this is math. I mean, music's mathematical. And when I look at this colorful picture, I see some things that look like math. I see coordinate plane. I see some shapes. Well, actually, this is math. This is a computer-generated rendering of a series of transformations. And I think it's pretty wonderful myself. Yep, math can be art. Well, that was a really cool animation of a series of transformations, and, and I loved it. And someday I'd like to be able to do that, and someday I bet you'd like to be able to do that too. But before you can run, you need to walk. And today we're going to walk through the basics of transformations. Transformations are just changes in the shape of of a figure. And we're going to discuss three types of transformations today. The first is a translation. And a translation is just when you slide a figure from one location to the other. You don't turn it, you don't change its size or shape, you just slide it. For instance, if I took this picture of a girl and slid her over here, that would be a translation. The guitar is facing the same way. Her body is the same size. It's the same shape. Nothing changed. We just slid it over there. The second kind of transformation we're going to talk about is a reflection. And you know what a reflection is. When you go into the bathroom and look in the mirror, you're seeing a reflection of yourself. What is on your right side appears on the left side in the mirror. It's turned around 180 degrees. Just like this picture of the girls turned around. The guitar in one picture faces to the right, in the other it faces to the left. Now we didn't change her size and we didn't change her shape. All we did was turn it around 180 degrees. The next kind of transformation that we're going to talk about is a rotation. And you know what that means too. A tire rotates on the wheel of your car. And if we were to take this girl and rotate her, we just turn her 100 or 90 degrees to the right. We just rotated her to the right. And that's a rotation. Well, obviously, this is a math class. So we're going to not look at pictures all the time. We're going to have to look at some math and we're going to look at some geometric figures. And these transformations relate to geometric figures as well. For instance, translation. You remember that's just where we slid the figure. We didn't turn it. We didn't rotate it. We just slid it. And you can see I've got two triangles on this coordinate plane. And the first and the second are identical. All I've done is slide it down to its new position. A reflection. You remember that's like in a mirror and everything's backwards. And I can do that in geometry as well. If I have a triangle and I flip it around, I'm going to get a reflection of that triangle. And lastly, a rotation. You remember, that's where it just rotates around the 180 degrees of an axis. And it's going to look like that. If I had this triangle and I rotated it around 180 degrees, it would look like that triangle. Well, now let's go into some more detail on translations. We'll delay uh, reflections and rotations until part two of this lesson. And let's try to understand a little more completely how this translation works. If I had a triangle, as I've got in the blue here, and I translated it, that would mean I just slide it. And in this case, I slid it over here. And I can label those vertices in the image or the reflection. 
This is the image or the reflection of the original triangle. I can label those vertices, and I've done that here. 5, 5 corresponds to minus 2, 7. And that vertice with those coordinates corresponds to that vertice with, with those coordinates. Now, could I describe using the x-axis and the y-axis what I did when I slid this triangle from here down to there? Yeah, I can. I can say, I started there, and that was a y or an x value of minus 2. I had a minus 2x. And I went over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I went 7 in a positive direction towards positive or larger x values to get from the x value of the original to the x value of the uh, image I added 7 or slid it 7 to the right. Well mathematically that means I took my x value in the original minus 2 and I added 7 to it. What is minus 2 plus 7? It's 5. And that tends to make some sense. If I called this triangle number 1, and I call the original triangle number 2, then I can say that my x value in number 1 equals my x value in number 2, minus 2, plus 7. Minus 2 plus 7 equals 5. And that will work for this coordinate. If I have minus 4, plus 7, I get 3. And it'll work over here too. If I got minus 5 plus 7, I get 2. So, in this case, if we're going to slide the triangle 7 in a positive direction along the x-axis, then I take my original x value and I add 7 to it to get my image's x value. Same is going to happen with the y-axis as well. You can see I went over 7 on the x-axis, but then I went down 2 on the y-axis. I went down towards smaller values of y, so I subtracted 2. And if I take my y value in the original and I subtract 2 from it, 7 minus 2 is 5. My new y value equals my original y value minus 2 because I slid it down 2. And guess what? That's going to work for that value and that value and it's going to work for that value and that value. Let's see if you get it. Try this one. Hit your pause button. See if you can figure it out. And then hit your forward key and I'll go through the uh, solution. Okay, we're going to translate this triangle by sliding it 3 to the right and down 6. And then we're going to figure out what the new coordinates are. Well, let's slide it first. And what we're going to do is take one of the vertices in the original triangle and move it 3 to the right and then down 6. And that's the corresponding vertice in the image of the new triangle. Now with a computer I could grab this whole triangle and move it down so that vertice ended up there and all the other vertices would end up in the right spot. If you haven't got a computer, you might have to figure it out and come up with the, the, the coordinates of the new vertices. And let's do that. My original coordinates were minus 2, 7, minus 5, 6, and minus 4, 3. And you remember we're going to add 3 because we're going 3 to the right. We're going to add 3 to the x values. And we're going to subtract 6 because we're going down towards smaller y values. We're going to subtract 6 from the y values. And when we do that, we get the x value is not changing. No, it is. The x value is going minus 2 plus 3. And the y value, we're subtracting 6. So minus 2 plus 3 is 1, and 7 minus 6 is 1, and our new coordinate is 1, 1. 
and the second coordinate, minus 5, 6. I add 3 to the, to the x value, I subtract 6 from the y value, and I come up with minus 2, 0. Minus 2, 0. And with a minus 4, 3, I add 3, because I'm sliding it 3 to the right, I add 3 to the x value, and I get minus 1. Minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1. And then I'm bringing it down 6, so I'm subtracting 6 from the y value, and I get minus 3. In this problem, we're translating triangle number 1 into triangle number 2. And the question is, what change in the x and the y coordinates represents this translation? Well, let's figure that out. We slid triangle number 1 over to here. Can we figure out what we did to the x value and what we did to the y value to come up with the new coordinates of the new triangle? Yeah, we can. Let's pick this vertice right up here. And we're taking it over 7 to the left, negative 7 towards smaller x values to get to the x value of the new uh, uh, coordinate for the, for the image. So we're subtracting 7. And then we got to take it down 2 towards negative numbers on the y-axis to get to the new y value. So our original x value for this vertice was 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we have to subtract 7 from it to get to the new one. So 6 minus 7 is minus 1. And that's exactly the x value of the translation, minus 1. How about the y value? Well, we started with a y of 6 also positive 6. But we came down 2 to get to the, to the image of the new triangle, so we subtracted 2. So we take our original value of 6, and we subtract 2, and we get our new value, which is 4. Triangle 1 has the following coordinates, minus 2, 6, and minus 5, 5, and minus 4, 2. We translate this triangle down 8. We don't move it left and right at all. There's zero left and right movement. What are the coordinates of the new triangle? Well, we can do this mathematically pretty easily, actually, because my x value is not going to change. I didn't move it left and right at all. There was zero left or right movement. But I moved my y value 8 down or towards the negative number. So my x value is going to stay minus 2. My y value is going to be the original y value 6 minus 8. And 6 minus 8 is minus 2. My next point was minus 5, 5. And my minus 5 is not going to change. But my y value is going to decrease by 8, and 5 minus 8 is minus 3. And the third coordinate was minus 4, 2. Minus 4 is not going to change because I'm not moving it left or right. And my y value is going to change by uh, uh, negative 8, so it's 2 minus 8, or minus 6. And when I graph it, I haven't changed the x values. I've just moved it down eight spaces. So it's moved directly down eight. Well, that's the first half of our lesson on transformations. There's a transformations part two that you, you'll need to do next. And I hope you got a good deal out of this. Now it's time to go to mastermath.info and download the worksheet titled Transformations. Try your luck on that and then go back to Master Math and do the quiz on transformations. And then come back and do part two of transformations and see as often.